Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing great today. Boy, do I have a game from you, from Joel. Oh, my goodness. As you can see, he's on the Corellium map, and he's in his Viperia, and uh, he's going to take this thing up to where the heavies usually go, right around the... It's the northeast side, like the A9 line, that little area where you start down the hill. And that's typically where the heavies the heavies will sit there and duke it out, and the TDs, defending TDs, will, will, will take you know pop shots at the heavies as they try to go down the hill. Well, and this, the, the tables are going to get turned. Actually, Joel's going to be the one taking pop shots, and this is going to be awesome, y'all. And uh, he is on a personal mission to uh, – he set himself a personal goal to three-mark this vibe here, and there's no doubt in my mind this guy's going to pull this off. It's going to be a beautiful process to watch, y'all. So sit back and we'll get ready for a great game because this, this dude's about to just rock these dudes' worlds, man. Joel, y'all, thank you so much for sending it to me, buddy. I really do appreciate it. Without further ado, y'all, let's get to it. Thanks for watching. So Joel's team is going to spawn on the southeast corner of this map. This is the Corellia map. It's the assault version of it. So I really like playing this iteration. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to pause this thing right here and um, just kind of just really quickly show you where he's going to head to. He's going to head to the A9 spot. And it's going to be basically shooting down this this A line and all the TDs and uh, heavies and uh, whatever that are down there camping and defending and uh that's where he's gonna spend the majority of this game right there and uh, once the game gets going it's gonna see something like his loadout i noticed something interesting about his loadout you know i figured i'd go this is my this is my garage and i have the vepira as well and uh, i took it out one time the day it came out and uh, had a game in it and set it up like i would normally set up a td and then realized that like this isn't really a sniper td and i just kind of set it aside um kind of let the new wear off you know there's like 15 of these things and all you know in every game i just like man I, I don't want to play this tank right now um but i figured you know what i want to his, his joel's loadout is interesting so um, i'm gonna go to compare and i configured um the very first line which is kind of set up the like way mine is which is basically like concealment brothers in arms you know vents um binox and a camera that's typically how i set up a td not always but that's typical you know but then I got looking at the gun dispersion, like, man, this thing is not a sniper TD. So this is basically Joel's, I'm guessing, his setup. Uh, I don't know if he took all the field modifications, but I know they're all done. But he's got the Bounty uh, Turbo uh, Improved Hardening and the Improved Rotation Device, the Bounty version of it, um, with spaghetti. And um, and then I just kind of just played around with, with a, a, a different iteration of that. And just put the regular um, rotation device in, you know, with the field modification set up and with the spaghetti and all that, you know, so you can kind of see um, there's not really that much of a difference. It's very, very minimal. Um, you do gain a little bit extra traverse speed with the Bond, um, uh, you know, rotation device, improved rotation device uh, for your gun traverse speed. And you do get a little bit uh, improved uh, rotation uh, traverse speed um, of the tank itself but it's, it's like i said that's the thunder from this current um whatever that waffen trigger thing is going on so it is two is 21.91 on joel's version and then this one here is 21.43 i mean it's not a lot i mean it's it's probably not even noticeable you know what i mean so if you don't have, if you don't have the bond equipment, you could just put that rotation, you know, rotation device in there, and you would be pretty close. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd, I'd um, because it, it was curious to me. Like I've been seeing a couple of games, I was like, well, what what does that actually give you? Um, he's he's basically got it set. This is an assault tank destroyer. It is not a it's not a sniper tank destroyer, you know, and that's what the game. It, just just because of the gun the gun handling and uh the the, the amount of armor that's on the front of it um this is a, a, a td that's meant to be in your face and um you know like when it first came out though i mean everybody knows it's just you didn't know where to shoot the stupid thing and and this thing was just wrecking everybody and that's like i said and that's kind of why i stopped playing it because there was like four four of these five of these per team you know it was just <laughs> just by purist playing i was like man i don't want to play this tank right now let the new let the new wear off um anyway 
this is not about me this is about jewel and he's going to hit up here just like i said he's going to go to this a9 spot and that strv 70 that the strv 74 driver right there and then the cs 53 52 liz um tier 8 uh polish t uh medium tanks them dudes are going to have an epic game spotting and uh giving their team shots and um guys somebody's asking the tds to go to the hill and joel's gonna say well i'm not really a td and he's not he's more like a uh well he, he's kind of like a heavy tank more or less um and somebody's asking the the bert the fe 304 what are you doing in the center well he doesn't have any distance man he has to get close that's that's what the bert it has to do so um i mean it does look odd that he's sitting out and he's sitting right out there in the but that's what they have to do well, there's the enemy enemy CS, CS 52 list is bouncing shots already 53 TP's pulling up he's he's gonna get credit for spotting him he's gonna smash him right in the face for 389 which is beautiful and that dude's backing up like oh my goodness yeah man you definitely should be doing that um this this viper here is gonna tear you to pieces this five he gets another 553 damage on it and he's backed out of the way already he's been giving Joel the business um and uh CS-53 bounces another shot. He doesn't know where to hit Joel yet. And I wish the Cromwell B doesn't doesn't really need to be over here playing with these heavies, man. It's just a bunch of pain and misery over here. Joel's backing up. He just he just had about a full, over 450 of his hit points shaved away pretty quickly. Cromwell, go don't go down there, dude. Oh no. <laughs> poor little fella uh well he wanted to help at least he tried bless his heart um i just don't have the armor for this man not for this kind of not for this kind of shooting gallery going on down here and there was a re recent update they've added that that them, them rock formations are new and jay panther bounces he bounces a shot from the jay panther hits it for 425 blocks two oh man he's just blocking Oh my, blocking some shots from the Pollock tank. Smashes the 53 TP in the face again. And his dude's over over 2,600 damage and 1,700 block, man. Oh my goodness. And there's a J Panther again. He's, he's going to hit it again. Blocks us. Because it's the Pollock tank shooting HE at him. He's, he's just aggravated. He's smashing the <laughs> whatever button he thinks. He probably is trying to hit the hit the gold button. Hit, hit the HE button instead. And object 252U is dead which was basically defender but that dude sat there and like a freaking xp pinata and i guess joel was going to go head over here and get behind this rock but they're not going to push over the strv 74 has got these dudes lit up and uh, like i said man they that guy right there and that, that cs52 you see how the cs52 liz is um keeping these dudes is keeping their heads down he's keeping them spotted which is allowing the hit you know joel's arties to work these dudes over so good on those two guys man i have to give this dude credit because they definitely deserved it here comes the low he's pushing up um, joel's gonna bounce the first one you're gonna track him on the second shot i guess he broke his gun or something who knows he didn't penetrate him well i mean he did but he didn't do no real damage now he finally finally gets one pushed through for 373 he's gonna track him again you know do blame him last he hits him for 407 so the low pushed up and basically got a whole pile of his ship of his hit point shaved off um joel's up over to 3400 damage now he's on a reload the dude's only got 146 hit points left man um and then I understand now he had a you know with with improved hardening he got over you know and uh he got another hundred hundred plus hit points added you know um if he hadn't done that he'd already be dead so that approved hardening definitely definitely uh is the only reason why he's still alive right now he smashes the j panther that's his first kill for 425 um the lowest pulling back i'm gonna hit him again for 431 thank you very much and then he's gonna bonk up right on the top of the head and hit him right on the top of the cupola 
and now the low is going back to the garage which is beautiful hit him for 164 man um even though this is an assault td and it has really garbage gun dispersion um it can still pull off some pretty good shots so like i was just mentioning this this latest iteration of i don't know if you noticed have y'all noticed the, the changes to the maps this rock formation used to not be here um so it used to just be a, a long <laughs> run of pain if you can make it down you know that's why i used to love to sit over here as a td and just just beat these dudes to death and the, the kv2 is like oh no 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 backing up backing up <laughs> and joel's now joel's finally loaded and this dude's not gonna pull up he's like oh no that key that viperia is still alive scorpion's pulled out he's looking for a shot and uh joel and i don't know where that shot went to but it, it sailed somewhere the inner clip reload is completed and there's the pollock tank and he hits him for 545 man that's a beautiful beautiful well it wasn't that much it was 390 something his teammate hit him as well and he takes out the pollock tank the pollock tank is his third kill and the scorpion's dead that's his fourth kill so all that's left is this kv2 and this uh t78 sitting over here and there's a medium tank hiding somewhere I, I, the cheery sitting over there uh, the cs52 is going to push it looks like it's pushing on them I mean, look at this STRV 74, man. This dude had a banging good game. And he, he gets taken out. Um, the T-78 takes out the STRV 74, man. But still, dude, had a great game. He just bounced a shot from that T-78. And Joel's not even going to hesitate on this KV-2, man. He's going straight at this T-78. Bounces another another shot from the T-78 for two, 240. I'd hate to be that T-78 right now, knowing you got a Viper coming in on you. T-78's pulling up, but I give him credit for trying, man. It smashes the T-78 right between the eyes for 279 and takes him out, and that's the game. Wow. Um, that's, that's That was his fifth kill. That was a... It seemed like it was a fast game, but it was, it, you know... So let's see what you did, man. You got uh, Ace Tanker. Um, outstanding dude. That's a beautiful thing to see. Hand of God, Bruiser duelist um fighter for five kills um fire for effect shell proof and then steel wall and high caliber um you did 5491 damage you uh you had 315 assist damage for a combined 5806 total damage dude wow and then you, on top of that you blocked 2530 damage dude um and then uh let's see you kill the J Panther, the Low, the Pollock Tank, the Scorpion, and the T78. And uh, so, great game, dude! Fantastic. So I was looking at uh, looking at all the, the the team players, looking to see who, if there was any names in the in the mix that cracked me up. And I came across this one guy. His name was, uh, <laughs> and it made me laugh. I'm a cow. Hear me moo. <laughs> and I just man, that's what it's got to be. It's got to make me laugh. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how how stupid it is. If it if it makes me laugh, then that's that you get. Congratulations. So I'm a Cal here. Man, move. You made it to my, you made it to one of my videos. So, Joel, dude, outstanding game, man. Like I said in the intro, this guy is on a personal mission to uh, three mark this tank, and there's no doubt in my mind he's going to pull it off, man. This dude's on a roll. He's already got a a couple videos already waiting. You know, waiting to go, and at the time of this uh, recording, he is already already has it two marked. So. And those videos are coming. So anyway, Joel, again, dude, congratulations for another outstanding game. Um, your clan should be very proud of your accomplishments, and so should you. So um, it was really fun to, to sit here and watch you just beat these dudes to death in this tank. So uh, once I, I'm really looking forward to getting in it and playing it myself. So anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. If it wasn't complete garbage due to me, please consider uh, leaving a comment or a thumbs up would be awesome. Leave Joel a comment. He definitely deserves it because he's killed it once again. Um, he's so far, man, the dude doesn't disappoint. And uh, anyway, if uh, it's your first time here, you somehow managed to stumble on my channel. I do hope you like it, and please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Anyway, y'all, I hope that y'all have a great day. Y'all take care, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.